What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, and I'm gonna be honest, I am kind of dying. If you've been following my vlogs, you know I haven't been feeling too good and I'm having a lot of trouble doing this very complicated task called breathing. Just can't breathe. I'm working on it, I'm trying to get better. And uh, trying to get better. I'm working on it, I'm trying to get better, but I am just feeling a little bit under the weather right now and I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded and dizzy. I still want to post a video though, so I'm gonna do something that I hate doing. Which is Q&A's. I'm not a fan of Q&A's. I don't ever want this channel to be about me and you have to like know me to care about it. You, I just, uh, but I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Kinda, not really, sorta. Just listen. I feel like every time people do Q&A's, the questions are kinda similar and they're about would you rather have breasts for feet or feet for breasts and things like that. So I've decided to answer all those questions that um, I guess most people avoid, AKA me, I avoid these questions. So this is gonna be the most honest Q&A ever. Every answer I'm about to say is 1000% Honest. And you know what that means? There's a lot of questions about boys and the sexing and the body parts and the... It's the internet. Shall we begin? Let's do it. <coughs> Would you have sex with two people at the same time? First of all, hi mom, enjoy this video. Um, I don't like to say never, never say never. I don't know if I would right now at this moment, I wouldn't. Um, having sex with two people kind of stresses me out because I don't even, like, having sex with one person is... Awkward enough for me, to be honest. How many boyfriends have I had and when was my first kiss? Oh, gee. okay, hold on. Wait. Um, what, 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 what counts as a boyfriend though? If we're gonna go to like, you know, like I had a boyfriend, great dude, does that count? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my judgment here. I have four, four serious relationships and my first kiss was, uh, grade eight, grade nine, I initiated it, that, I'm that person. Most commonly asked question, are you a virgin? I don't know what it is, why is everyone so curious about everyone else's sex life? It's just like the weirdest crap to me that I get asked this question all the time. And I used to be like super embarrassed to answer this question because I was like, oh no, I'm like, you know, okay, I grew up in like an Indian community and in an Indian family where anything related to this topic is very awkward. So it, it's embedded into my personality and anytime I'm around people and talk about sex, I'm like, <laughs> That's me. If you really want to know, I don't care. I am a virgin. I don't give any type of F. I used to be so concerned before that people would virgin shame me and I wouldn't be cool. And here I am being unapologetically myself and I don't give an F if I'm cool or not because this is who I am. I am a virgin. I am 27, I'm a virgin. I don't give an F. I have not met anyone yet that I've wanted to have sex with. That's my choice. So now you know, go make a meme about it. How's that for honest Q&A? Be proud of your decisions and who you are. You can, whether you're a virgin or not, that's your choice. And you're cool either way. Are you dating anyone? I am truthfully not dating anyone right now. Has your hair ever fallen in the toilet on accident? Uh, I don't think my hair has ever fallen in the toilet, but I will say, you know, my hair can get in some pretty weird places. When I sit, I sit on my hair. My hair has gotten stuck in my butt crack in the shower. If you have long hair, I'm sure you can relate to that. My hair is long, it passes my butt. It's gonna happen. It's, I mean, I'm in the shower, so it's clean, so. You know, whatevs. Do you hear that? You hear that sound? It's all the people watching this video realizing how weird I am and unsubscribing. I'm, you know, well, you know, thanks for being here. What happened with your past boyfriend? I know the right answer is to be like, oh, you know, it didn't work out and he was a douche. I'm not gonna say any of that. I'm gonna be honest and say we were super different people. Um, he's wonderful and the real answer is I'm just a bad girlfriend. I'm not in a place in my life where I can be a good girlfriend right now and be in a relationship, so that's what happened. I just, I'm, a, I'm bad at relationships right now and we were way too different and he's a great person. Have you ever kissed a girl? Yes, I have kissed a girl. Um, me and my girlfriends have drunkenly kissed many times and sometimes when I'm in the club and I'm feeling the song and I had one too many tequila shots, I'm like, oh, come here. I love it. I've kissed a girl and, and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chapstick. That's not even the right tune. <laughs> Come to me, oxygen. Did you pee in a pool? Ah, uh, in my memory, currently, I don't think I've ever. Holy crap, I'm dizzy. Okay, I'm gonna just bring this chair over here and lean on it. Hello. I don't think I've ever peed in a pool, to my knowledge, but I've peed in like at a beach. Yeah, there's been so many times I had to pee at a beach, and I'm like, I'm gonna pee in the ocean, and that's why there hasn't been a Little Mermaid sequel. I'm so sorry, I killed her with my piss. Will you be coming to Texas anytime soon? I literally just included this question because I'm going to Texas in one day for WrestleMania, so. I would also like to point out, I'm not trying to be dramatic, being sick, making a video, like I wanted to make a video. This is not me being like, a, 
oh my god, I'm the most dedicated YouTuber ever. I'm sick and making a video. No, like, just shut up, Louie. Next question. Do you Netflix and chill? Um, I have a very hard time hooking up with people. As I mentioned, I'm very sexually awkward. I mean, yeah, I like, I would like to sometimes, but will I ever initiate that? Probably not. Um, I think I've only ever kissed someone that I didn't know too well, like, twice in my entire life, and I felt guilty about it for, like, weeks after that. So would I Netflix and chill? Probably not, unless it was, like, genuinely Netflix and chilling. But I just started watching Fuller House. I watched it all in two days, so if you're down with that kind of binge watching, we can be friends. What do you do with the gifts that fans give you? And again, this is an honest Q&A, so I'm gonna tell you, I always have three piles when I get gifts at any meet and greet, one is take home, one is donate, and one admittedly is throwing away, and I'm gonna explain to you why. Uh, I get a lot of food, I can't put food in a suitcase or travel with it, so I'll eat as much as I can if it's safe to eat, and the rest I do have to throw away, unfortunately. I'm sorry, that's me being honest. Um, I do donate the things I get multiple of. I get a lot of the same types of teddy bears, and I feel like other people in the world might enjoy that stuff more than me, and I feel like if you're one of my fans, you won't mind helping out other people, because that's what Team Super believes in. And, and then the take, I have paid heavy suitcase fees all my life because of the amount of stuff I take back home. So that's what I do with bang gifts. I'm so close to the camera, why? All right, the chair. Favorite tampon brand. If you watch my vlogs, you know I don't wear tampons, I wear pads, tampons scare me, refer to uh, Indian community growing up. Nathan, how long have you been single? I have been single for a year and two months. Do you dislike any YouTubers? No need to name them. I would never name them. I would never bash another person in one of my videos. Um, I don't. I can't think of any YouTubers I dislike strongly. Are there YouTubers that I don't necessarily agree with? Um, yeah, lots. I, I see a lot of content and I'm like, mm, I, don't, I don't know about that. But you know what, I just keep that to myself because promote what you love, don't bash what you hate. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Uh, well, I have a million dollars <laughs> and I don't do anything differently. I eat 99 cent mac and cheese every day. I'm wearing the same sweatpants. I've been wearing these sweatpants for an entire week and I Uber X everywhere. Honestly, everyone seems to be so captivated by YouTubers and money and I've read so many articles about myself and how much money I make and all that stuff. And honestly, money is the result of what I do. When I started making videos, it was to be happy. It wasn't to make money. So it doesn't really change a lot of what I do, to be honest. I'm cheap as hell. That's right. It's probably why I have a million dollars. How can I watch AT2UI for free? The answer for that is you shouldn't want to. That movie costs so much money to make. It's a movie. When you go to the theaters, you pay to watch movies. Uh, my videos are free every Monday and Thursday. That movie can't be free. It costs hundreds and thousands of dollars to make. Do you stock Instagram accounts? Yes, I stock a lot of you. I stock my exes sometimes. I stock some people that have hurt my feelings and I stock uh, my friends. Pretty much stalk everyone. Why is Humble the only guy friend you will share a bed with? If you don't know, Humble's my friend. He's staying with me right now. Um, sometimes we share a bed at hotels. He's not. I've shared a bed with many of my other guy friends. I don't think sharing a bed is a big deal. You're just sleeping. It depends what to do in the bed. If I'm just sleeping next to one of my guy friends, I don't think that's a big deal. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone we know? <laughs> <sighs> Probably. Have you ever had a crush on a YouTuber and who? I can genuinely say I've never had like a really serious crush on a YouTuber because YouTubers are so busy, you barely get a chance to hang out with them and get to know them. But I will say every time I have filmed this skit with Yusuf and it has required me to touch his body and muscles, uh, I would be lying if I didn't say I was like, um, this is a skit. You can't lick his arms. Yeah, you can tweet him. I said that. Use it, I'll be expecting your text shortly. And that's all the questions. I know this was a Q&A and my channel doesn't really do this. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the honesty of it. Oh my God, why is everything spinning? Yo, if you enjoyed that video, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, I usually make comedy videos, rants and skits and I'm gonna just sit down real quick because I'm dying. Yeah, I usually make skits and rants, and if you wanna see those, um, please subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. My last video is right over there. It's called Technology's Making Us Stupid. That's a good example of the videos I usually make. My second vlog channel is right there. Um, I will be, I'm gonna go fix myself, and I will be back with my comedy videos on Monday. Apologies again for this. Comment below letting me know if you hated it or what you if you liked it. Did you what did you think? What did you think of this video? Tell me, please validate me. Other than that, one love soup woman. That is a wrap and soup. <laughs>